In the last few lessons, you learned how to get multiple variables from the Census Bureau, and you learned how to get those variables over multiple years. In this lesson, you'll learn how Choropleth R makes it easy to calculate the changes in these variables over multiple years. Take a moment to read the help file for the function calculate percent change. Recall that all data in Choropleth R is in the same form, a data frame with one column called region and one column called value. If you give calculate percent change two data frames in this form, it will return a third data frame. The data frame it returns will have the same regions as the data frames you gave it, but the value column will represent the percent change between the value columns of the two data frames. Continuing with our example from earlier in this module, here is code to create and view the percent change in per capita income between 2010 and 2015. You'll notice, though, that there are a lot of columns in the resulting data frame. This is because, in addition to the new value column, all the columns from both data frames are also included. If you scroll all the way to the right in the viewer, you can find the new value column that has the percent change. If you want to remove all the unnecessary columns, you can optionally type the code you see here. df change equals df change. And then the bracket notation does subsetting. Putting nothing before the comma selects all rows. And then the columns we want are region, value.x, which is the per capita income from 2010, value.y, which is the per capita income from 2015, and value, which is the percent change. As before, you can view the new data frame by typing view df change.